Martin Truex Jr. wins and the playoff cut line gets interesting. Let's get into it. Coming up next. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing good today. Got the live stream tonight, so make sure you check that out. If you're new to the channel, would appreciate your subscription. All right, Martin Truex Jr. wins the race. Mondays and Martin Truex Jr., what better combination? In fact, look at this meme right here. <laughs> pretty funny, uh, but it does make a pretty good point right there. There's also one with uh, seven. Uh, if uh, races were run on Mondays, Martin Truex Jr. would be like a seven-time champion uh, and things like that. But that is his third win on the season. That that bumps him not only into the regular season points lead, which has a 15 point bonus, but also it puts him in second place in the playoff points. And he would be the points leader in the playoff points if he got that 15 point bonus for winning the regular season title. So let's take a look at the playoffs right now or the point structure right now and the cutoff line in particular, because it just got really interesting. Let's go regular season points first. You see Martin Truex Jr. right there in first. 17 points behind him is William Byron, and then it's going to be a nice distance uh, third place for Christopher Bell uh, at 62 points behind. 66 points behind is Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch, who had a terrible day. We'll get into that in just a minute at minus 74 points. So it looks like it's going to be, for the regular season title, looks like it's going to be a shootout between William Byron and Martin Truex Jr. Boring, uh, both of those guys having uh, significant trouble like Kyle Busch had today. Looks like it's going to be a uh, sort of a two-man battle for the regular season points championship. That being said, of course, the regular season points championship, uh, not all that important anymore because it's all about the playoffs these days, uh, whether you like them or not. Uh, William Byron is leading that right now with four wins, 22 playoff points. But like I said, if Martin Truex Jr. can win the regular season championship, that would vault him in front of Martin Truex Jr. via those 15 extra points for winning the regular season title. Martin Truex Jr. right now, though, in second with three wins at 18 playoff points. Kyle Busch in third with three wins, but only 17 playoff points. This is where those stage wins start to matter. Then you got Kyle Larson uh, in fourth, Ross Chastain, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Tyler Reddick, Christopher Bell, Joey Logano, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Kevin Harvick and Brad Keselowski and Chris Buescher, I think, are pretty much basically locked in at this point. But then you get to the cutoff line. 15 and 16, the last two guys in. Bubba Wallace at plus two. Michael McDowell at plus one. Then you've got Daniel Suarez, first man out, at minus one. A.J. Allmendinger, minus 20. And then Ty Gibbs and Alex Bowman at minus 41 and minus 42. A piece. Now, if they can put together like a really good run where you win a couple of stages, they could still point their way in. But I'm going to say at 41 and 42 points behind, these guys are in must win uh, sort of territory unless the guys in front of them have some trouble. But AJ Allmendinger, Daniel Suarez, Michael McDowell, Bubba Wallace can all still point their way in. So just getting really, uh, really exciting down there. And of course, Chase Elliott, you don't see him on this list because he is at minus 60 something points behind all these guys. So he is definitely, in my opinion, in a must win situation. That is definitely going to be very intense going forward, but let's get back to this race real quick and look at who had a good race and who had a bad race because I kind of skipped over that uh, to talk about the points. Martin Truex Jr., of course, with the good race and taking over the points lead for the regular season to give them 15 to, uh, bonus points. Joey Logano had a good run. Uh, he uh, made up for a bad track position at the beginning of this race, but had a very, very good car. Uh, I don't know if he had anything for Truex, but uh, definitely a good run for him. Kyle Larson, at times, was on various uh, tire strategies. He looked fast at points. He looked uh, like he was just holding track position at points and definitely was a track position race. Uh, but I enjoyed the race overall. And a shout out to NBC, uh, obviously, for even though it was a blowout, they were showing the racing throughout the field, which is something uh, I want Fox to do anyway. Kevin Harvick, good race for him. Fourth place finish there. Brad Keselowski, uh, fifth place finish. Good momentum. RFK continues to keep building on that momentum going forward. Tyler Reddick, good race for him. Denny Hamlin, good race. Uh, Bubba Wallace, uh, he was up and down. I think he was uh, every position you could be on the racetrack at some point, but ends up with an eighth place finish, a good finish for him. Austin Dillon kind of out of nowhere, though, with a, a aggressive tire strategy, staying out on old tires, uh, winds up getting a ninth place finish, and he definitely stole that one because I don't think the car had speed in it uh, because his teammate obviously showed that their cars were a little bit off today uh, as he smoked the wall. Uh, Chase Briscoe with a tenth. They needed that good top ten to get that momentum going, and Eric Jones is starting to put something together here a little too, too, uh, little too late, uh, but they do have some uh, momentum going with the 43 car at least at legacy motorsports the 42 car uh, of course not in good shape all right and we'll just start here at the bottom it was a bad race for kyle bush uh, finishes dead last uh, just wasn't a good weekend for him i think he hit the wall at least three times uh, Corey lajoy uh, he, a bad race for him he had a pretty good run going 
uh, was going to be probably top 15. Uh, Noah Gregson, like I was talking about with Legacy Motor Club, they just can't get any momentum going. Uh, and then look at here, 29th, Christopher Bell had a, a race-winning car. Uh, just uh, uh, pro problems in the pits, and he never overcame them. Uh, and then uh, just a, a little bit of frustration, overdrove the car sort of late in the race and ends up uh, finishing uh, 29th. Ty Gibbs, another guy that had a really good car, ends up finishing 27th uh, after getting basically roughed up by everybody in the field, it looked like. All right, that is all I got for you on this one. If you like the content, feel free to subscribe down below. All your subscriptions mean a lot to this channel, and if you're already subscribed, you know I appreciate you guys as well. If you got a question, comment, or anything like that, leave it down in the comment section. If you want to help out the channel, we're going to have some project cars hopefully going here pretty soon. Uh, there are t-shirts uh, and merch, uh, stickers and uh, hats. Uh, the link is down in the description. And don't forget about the live stream tonight. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace. <laughs>